so I'll get your back if you get mine. What do you mean, why am I naked? You see me naked ten times now. What? Did you catch a patch of silver hair or something this time? <sighs> You're one to talk. You got one right here. Mmm. <laughs> Feisty. Pass me the shampoo, would ya? Grey meal, great sex, decent shower, tracks. Oh, it looks like you're out of shampoo, huh? Hmm, tell you what, take the day off and I'll take you to that fancy farmer's market. They got an old man that sells specialty shampoos. Expensive as fuck, but worth it. My treat, as thanks for dinner. <laughs> Looking for excuses to spend time with you? Please. You fed me excellent food. You might feed me more in the future if I behave. Wolf here, remember? Bark, bark. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Where was your kind of food motivated? Of course, other things do motivate us. <laughs> but come on, get your coat and let's go. Ain't got a coat? Jeez. Here, take mine. We'll get you a coat at the market. There. Can you get my tie, babe? <laughs> I am an asshole, I know. But you seem to enjoy it enough that I can pick you up by this tiny, teeny waist of yours. Have you tie my tie? All oh, sweet. Hmm, <laughs> you give some real nice kisses. I love when your tongue tries to find mine. <laughs> it's cute you think you can overtake me. <sighs> Come on, let's get there before it gets too busy. Let's see, where's Jill? Jill's a tailor of sorts. She's the only one that can get my damn size right. Being a seven foot tall werewolf as big as I am is great. Except when it comes to clothes. Do werewolves mind wearing clothes? Eh, some do. Wearing clothes with fur takes some time getting used to. Me, I kind of like looking dapper. It tricks people into thinking I'm not as much of a threat. Confuses you humans to see us looking handsome or whatever. Hmm? Sorry, I was looking at ties. What you ask? How come I feel like I gotta be a threat? Hmm. I guess they say do what you know. What's in your nature, right? Humans get their little jobs. They find their little mates. Work towards some dream or another. And so on. Werewolves. We don't do aspirations and dreams. We're coded to survive at all costs. And to never let anyone or a thing think they're big enough to step to us. <laughs> Do I have any dreams? <laughs> oh, that's cute. You're cute. Sweetie, I run a business. A very lucrative, very dirty business. 
I spend my days busting skulls and keeping a bunch of thugs working like decent folk. When am I ever gonna have time to daydream? Do I daydream about you? Hmm. <sighs> Sometimes. Now stop pushing your fucking luck and let's get you a coat. Jill! Hi! Got time for a private consultation? Ah, oh, come on. It's not for me. It's for my, uh... Friend here. They're in rags. I want them in gold. Capiche? Whatever they want, put it on my tab. <clears throat> hmm? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm sitting on this fancy couch so I can have you model for me. <laughs> Oh, so feisty. I... Oh, for fuck's sake, Jill. Fine. No smoking in your shop, I get it. Ah, <sighs> go on, doll. I got all day. Dull, dull. You're breaking my heart. Everything you put on looks incredible on you. Especially with that cute little pelt. Hmm. <laughs> Gonna stick your tongue out at me? Fine. Then let me tuck it in my mouth where it'll behave itself. Uh, uh, hey, uh, you get one hit with a newspaper, Jill. We'll cool it, we'll cool it. Doll, go try on that yellow one again, huh? Really? Two outfits and some shoes? That's all you want? Yeah, I thought not. You liked everything you tried on, right? Then it's yours. Hey. You saved my life. Doll gets what Doll wants. Simple as that. Jill, ring us up, please. And thank you. Hmm? You're thanking me. <laughs> You're cute, doll. You make the mafia wives out to deal with seem like spoiled succubi by comparison. Like, damn. I ain't even their man when they're trying to get me to play nice with their pathetic little boys for husbands. I respect for some of them, mind. Enzo's got a stick up his ass, but his partner's good at keeping things light. Don is the kind of crazy that gets turned into a documentary, but his baby keeps him grounded. You're that sort, doll. The sort to keep me grounded in all that crazy bullshit. I, I uh, meant to keep a mafia don grounded. Not me, specifically. Mm, shut up, Jill. I know where you hid the bodies. <sighs> Thank you for listening to today's audio. If you enjoyed it, this is part four, so there's three more parts you can go listen to. And if you like him, please comment, like, subscribe, all that YouTube nonsense. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.